Ho, 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 he, he, he. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, rock. On the eighth jingle day bell. Christmas, my baby gave to me. This nigga singing eight different songs. Oh, it's the season, be the jolly. <laughs> la, 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 la. Santa Claus is coming in time. Oh, yeah, Santa Claus is. <laughs> it is Christmas week, and I ain't got no gifts under the tree because I ain't got no trees to have gift under, and I ain't getting nobody. Oh, no. All right, How let's do the intro. Let's do the intro. Let's do the intro. Let's do the intro. It's your boy Billy the Guy Guy, Billy the Goat, Billy the Kid, Bills, 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 and I'm here with today with my co-host Renee, aka Renee Proper, and you are to into another episode of 25 and Over Club, where life gets real after the age of 25. All right, never small. <laughs> and we have a beautiful, wonderful guest today. Introduce yourself, my baby. Hello, everybody. My name is Shayna. <laughs> <laughs> you can put the mic close to you. Okay. I'm so happy to have Shayna here today. She's a big fan of the 25 and Over Club. Woo-hoo. She be in the comments. Yes. She be um, posting us. And she was at the live show. And we, yeah, it's acting up. <laughs> so we love to um, give people, all right, listen, people, don't get carried away. Don't say, oh, I'm a fan. <laughs> Let me come on the show now. It don't work like that. No, it don't we work seen like her at the live show. She had personality, so we know if she fit. Some of y'all get in front of this camera acting like someone walking. We can't drop the episode. Yeah. Now the episode gotta go on Patreon. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, so. oh you, you know that's not you. Oh, I'm, oh, 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 my god. I'm playing with the vocals. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> All right, introduce yourself, my baby. Um, she did. Okay, yes. Did you say her name? She Sh- did. Shana. Okay. Shana. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, everybody, I, I spelled, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, everybody, you know, it's, well, I only have Instagram, but on Instagram, mm-hmm. I have Shayna Smiles, mm-hmm. um, spelled with a Y, S-H-A-Y-N-A, Smiles. But yeah, um, Shayna, I don't have no, no catchy name. Right. We, we, we realized yeah. that she was a fun time, and she gonna have some fun time with us on this yeah. couch yes. cutting up the sexy. I, I somebody, somebody them. said something about the sexy brown couch <laughs> yeah. on YouTube. She was yes. like, "Look at y'all!" I said, "So shout out to Wolf. Wolf picked out this beautiful brown couch. You see this couch right here? Yes. Wolf is the man. Let Wolf me find Wolf. You an interior decorator now? You know, I'll do what I can. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we give Wolf a new title every day. Every day, just like <laughs> you. He's the, he's the manager, the, the manager, creative director. Beautiful. Um, the, he's a podcast manager. Mm-hmm. Then he's just my manager. Mm-hmm. Wolf, when when Black Effect come and give us our deal, you're gonna be on payroll, payroll, payroll. Yes, I man, love I'm that. really talented. I love that. I love that for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you know. So when we start this show, what we start the show off with? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> icebreakers. Icebreakers. Oh, icebreakers. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the first icebreaker icebreaker is. If you was to be a man for 24 hours, what's the first thing you're going to do? Oh, I have a good one. God, oh, my God. I have such a man? A... Mm-hmm. I would be a whore. I'm sorry. I'm sleeping with all my friends. Um, I'm going to... It's just, if it's for 24 hours, I have to just take a lot of things down. Yeah. I'm sorry. I respect I'm that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I respect that. I was Because if I was wanna... a female for 24 hours... My pussy gonna be worn out. Oh my god! Oh, how you know many... that sh- you know that shit snap back though. Don't matter. Twenty four. Listen, that, not, them no 20, that little twenty four hour train ain't nothing. If, if I worn out my pussy, <laughs> I'm gonna worn out the pussy. Whoa! It only makes sense. Listen, it won't be enough time listen, in the day. I tell you, it's what. amazing. <laughs> yeah. It feels um, amazing. The first thing I would do for, for the twenty four, I would stand up and pee. I used to stand, yeah, I, I want to be do that. So, like I used to do it as yo. One time, my mom caught me in the bathroom pee standing up. I had to, I try to hold my clitoris over the toilet and try to pee. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, it's just it's it's so easy. It's like yeah, pull it out, wipe, anything. put it back in. It's we have to have. They don't a nice even wipe position. it. Fly. lies. They don't wipe that yeah. shit. They shake it you off. Shake it off. <laughs> But the proper way to pee, to pull your meat out and pee is mm-hmm. to wash your hands first, then pee. Because when you just grab your meat, you it's are ex- putting bacteria onto your dick. I, 
I wash my hands. I live in an apartment mm. building and I love doing people watching. I'm a people watcher. Okay, peeping Tom. She says, I'm a people. I go to the zoo, I people watch. Uh-huh. I sit in front of my window and I people watch. And I watch all the guys downstairs in front of my building, like in the summertime, having cookouts and stuff, passing the blunt, pissing in the street, come back, shake each other's hand. And, come, and this is me counting. Oh my God. I'm a, this is me out the window. He just peed. Yeah. He just oh, peed. Yeah. He just, you one of those that when people me. record online, like we I won't like, even record. I just, I have my wine. Who's right that next to the window, recording. like, look at this nigga. Yo, I remember going to her house and she Passing just out the, the window. Around. She has a whole Passing chair and everything. After he just peed and held his dick. <laughs> Think about that. Mm. Think about the next person that, you dapped fuck, up. Fuck, um, you know what? what they call it? Grabber in the blunt? You got pee? Yeah. Yeah. Blunt? <laughs> and a pee and then oh, you... that blunt be hitting. And mind you, oh! a lot of these men, they don't go to the dentist, so they have mm. a lot of plaque mouth. And black you, you smoking wow. and you sharing the blunts and it's a lot of plaque mouth at that bottom that bottom row. Like I'm a mouth person. Mm. I'm very. It's a mouth is very but invigorating to me. I think in, the, in a little cipher session, you're not really thinking about. It. But niggas were scared during COVID. Oh, I don't want to catch COVID. But sharing the blunt. But it was at the kickbacks. I know I was out. I know yeah. I was at a few kickbacks in the in the COVID. Oh yo, where are we? Oh, you didn't come with me, but we went somewhere recently with the hookah, and. The people didn't want to, the people I was with didn't want to pay for hookah. So they went to the table with the hookah and they act like they was at that table and was like, oh, we need a refill. Ah! They got a refill. Smart. Right? Smart. But here, here goes judgmental Billy. <laughs> Look at all that Amari Khan in that hookah water just <laughs> bubbling back back into your system. Oh my system. God. We trying to be eco- oh, we try to be economical friends. But then they was like, Billy wants some hookah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I might he as said, well. He said, I'm gonna just be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna just be nice. God loves me. He don't play with yeah, me. but I want to pee standing up. That's, I want to do Oh, wow. I want to pee outside. But I be peeing, women be peeing outside anyway. Like I want some wife. head. Oh, yeah. I want some head in the car. Yeah. Driving too. Yeah. What? Driving. Right Because I done did that. And I know I'm going to be a little aggressive. A and I want to grab some neck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I guess that nigga had a bowl. Would y'all oh, try? I'm so sorry. Ooh, would y'all <laughs> try? Well, because are you, what do you identify as? Gay, straight, bisexual? I identify as I do what I like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Would you let a female suck your strap? Um, I never did that before. But I've Cause had... I want to know why the... Choke on it, bitch. You because they be moaning. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's about power. It's the power oh, okay. of it all. I get it. Yeah. I get it. It's I the power. It. That sensation, like when a guy, when a woman is given, when you suck in your significant other's dick, you you get you feel joy down yeah, there. Joyful, joyful. Not just not because just from the feeling, see, but from the just the, the dominance visuals, of it yes, all. Yeah, the visuals. Well, we, that's our fuck buddy segment. Right, um, right, right, sucking okay. dick. Right, we'll right, get so back to that. The second icebreaker so, question is: What is one thing you can't tolerate in a relationship? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a severely neat freak. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you gotta like, don't be. Okay. I don't mind cleaning up. Okay. But don't like just be nasty. Okay. Like you gotta be. Don't no. I'm gonna start talking about your mother. Yeah. <laughs> mm, look how your mother like, raised you. Yeah, I'm like, why? Is she, let me. Can I talk to her? Like right. I'm really, it, and it'll it'll be kind of sarcastic, yeah, yeah. but it's like I'm serious. It's the Caribbean in us, I believe. I think I don't. People who leave dishes in the sink overnight scare me. They scare me a lot. I'm not gonna say I don't do that. Yeah, but here's but the, that on it's, purpose. It's like, like one. It's like one yeah. and one cup. It's like yeah, just yeah. Or it's be like a pile, and they like you see, like I've seen, I've been to someone's apartment. It wasn't like somebody I was dating. It was like mm-hmm. it was we was going somewhere. It, they were close to their house, and mm-hmm. let me stop in my house, and I had to pee. So I was like, okay, let me just pop in, and we're gonna go to. He was other. checking his temperature. It was no, it wasn't a guy. Okay, it was okay, actually okay, a female. Friend, okay. Stopped in this girl's apartment. Dishes high like this. Mm-mm. And she stepped out. Cute. No, no, it's no. always like that. It's always like mm. that. Always. 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 It's not. The P, it's almost, the P they went straight back up. Yep. I went to the club. I peed at the club. That's how turned off I was. Yeah. See, I'm, I peed the, in the club. I'm the friend that I went like, into the club bathroom to pee. I don't blame you, but I'm also the friend. If I if it's my if it's my girl, mm. like people will be like, Shayna doesn't like. She's not. She's not gonna steal, but she's definitely gonna observe and look around. Yeah. She's more. Of, I'm a feeler. I don't yeah. steal. I'm not a stealer. I'm a feeler. feeler like, yeah. I, don't, I need to. Oh, this is not. Not good. They clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it's not like I do that to everybody, mm. but I feel like you should protect yourself because roaches is real. But the fact that you, my thing would be, I would find an excuse if I was like that. You don't even have you nasty and you got nerve. Nasty mm. and audacity. 
Nastiness and audacity. Nasty and audacity. If I say, come, I, I ain't gonna lie. If my, if, and sometimes you feel like your house is a little bit messy mm-hmm. and you don't even want somebody to come over or you rush That's and right. try to tidy up. Like the fact that you let me come here, I are. And you let me come in knowing it looked it like that. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, don't. She, then she was like, don't worry about it because I was getting ready. You was getting dre- ready in the sink? Yo, yeah. Why the sink it's, look it's, like that? It's a little offensive. You know what I'm saying? And I did. I have a story when I was um, fuck, you know, fucking with this guy when he was in the college. I went to visit him at his dorm. Mm-hmm. He had roommates. And, you know, I spent the night. When I tell you that bathroom looked it disgusting. You wanted to look for the bleach? When I told him, I told him, I put my clothes back on and I told him, let's drive to the nearest convenience store. I'll clean it because I had to shower. You knew, mind you, we planned it. He knew I was spending the night, spending the weekend. That's how you know the college kids is disgusting. It is. But they were grown men, like at least they were in college, like, and they were like ball players. So they were More like twenty two. Oh, Ooh, no. sweaty dick. Sweaty. He was fine too. Mm. A little semi sucky. My, my little brother, he's in college right now. Before now school started. Did, uh, disgusting. School started. In and then August. he was gonna be like, it's not. And I said, why the bathroom look like? Hello, Miss. You cut me off. So, <laughs> I was finished. I wasn't 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 not all the time, sometimes. Not for women, not no. us. We get BB. No, no, no not putting in your Word. pussy, but a little, Word. Yeah. a little, Word. a little, a hit of umami seasoning, bitch. Bilal, Bilal, Bilal. Can I ask a question? Why? Why is it that men, like, something, it's like when you get off of work, they're like, oh, I just want to. I want I want to fuck you with that uniform. On. Yeah, but it's that it's, it's that, like I want to take a shower first, but it's like no, I want it like that. I, I can't explain that to you. <laughs> but, yeah, I can explain it. I can explain it. <laughs> when you get off of work, right? It's like so much off of work that that um I'm not saying it all the time, but that 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 taste of you just got out of work and I'm sucking your dick in the car. Mm-hmm. Mint, that little seasoning, that's that what seasoning it. tastes good. <laughs> but that not is, when you went to the sick. gym. It don't stink. It's a little, a little tart. It's a, a little yeah. zesty. A little zesty. <laughs> it's a pass through. Like it, it once it because yeah. you, you got a, a little a little tang. A little. Mm. I mean, I've had a little tang before, but tang. I didn't like. It was a, a little ooh la la. I didn't like. Yeah, a little, I didn't like. I didn't like. A little okay. It's a little flavor. Mm. I didn't like it. I don't it's a lot like of sodium. It's no. giving a lot of sodium. I said it to her, I'm like, this thing's salty. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, I'm, I'm all about Yeah, the but the, I bother with men that want to like, some some of them like, I think it's a pheromone thing. Yeah. They, that little, yeah, it's a pheromone thing, the smell of. <laughs> yeah, um, the smell that, of. What, what, what they said in Poetic Justice and a lady whispered in Tupac ear, she was like, you want to smell my punani? But look, like you don't ever sniff a man's underwear? Yeah. Yeah, but it don't be musty. Hey, I'm not saying I smell musty <laughs> underwear, I, it, it's, but it's I, like a, I like a little. It's two different smells. Nut sack and, yeah, I like a little okay. nut it's sack. Two, <laughs> it's two different smells. Musty is like, like, like no water and soap, and then like you know work you sweaty all day, sweaty all day. Like you, you just you're not dirty. You just yeah. sweaty. Like sweaty, it's work, right. work, but musty. Yeah, is missing water and soap. Listen. Something is wrong. I think my relationship deal breaker, I would say cheating, but you never know what happens because sometimes oh. you are a dodo bird to stay. Mm-hmm. I think my relationship deal breaker is... Yeah, tolerate, but not... It don't have oh, to be like... Tolerate? Yeah. Uh, just the... I'm, I've been saying it on the show. The lack of ambri- ambition. Ambition. Okay. The lack of ambition. I can't tolerate it. I, I watched the other last show and you was talking about uh, um, Old Bay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, something like that. Okay. So yeah, sometimes you need that. Uh, yeah, somebody that just I got. Mean, I don't. Ca- I don't care if you start over a hundred times. Yeah, and you explain it going. perfectly. Get yeah. somewhere. You get somewhere. It no, you gotta get more than somewhere because anybody could go somewhere. No, but but, but, but here to, what? 
one step leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. Yeah, baby steps. Listen, Lauren Hill used to work at Foot Locker. They fired her, okay? Foot Locker's, you know, they they ain't paying like how they was paying before. Right. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was like nothing before when she was working. You know, it's sometimes, you know. Yeah, but just for me, something I won't tolerate. I don't like, I don't like an over serious person. I can't, for me, personality is a top priority in my relationships even with friends if you're just a, somebody that's super judgmental mm-hmm. super serious i'm not gonna want to be around you like it's yeah, a I, need big to laugh. Deal I need to laugh not even say you're like a big old funny bone like me mm-hmm. but i don't care if you never crack a joke laugh at my jokes nigga mm-hmm. what you talking about oh it's he was about like me. That's yeah. cra- one time i was dating a guy he was like you're so crass uh, that's what um <laughs> pastor Torres told me he told me um he was like yo you're mad funny. I never laughed in my last relationship. I said, nigga. <laughs> laughed you right <laughs> out them drawers. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> and I did. No, I, you know, That's a, so it, it's sad, a, though, to hear that. Like, it's an indicator. Like, what was y'all doing? Then? No, I said that. I said, y'all didn't laugh. Like, I said, what was the conversation about? He was like, it was just, I said, ugh, disgusting. That was the relationship. They was just that was fucking. They was, yeah. Me? I like I'll be like dating, you know, dating part. You're thinking about okay. I don't mm-hmm. know if I'm a, when the feelings start getting in there, you feel like you're going for. And I was like, I'm cracking jokes and shit. I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm like a nigga. I'm like, <laughs> yep. I'm about to let this nigga clean out the box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're so funny. I'm gonna yeah, laugh, yeah, I'm yeah. laugh them drawers <laughs> out, you nigga. <laughs> Like you talk about, you know that nutsack. Hello. <laughs> Shit. All right. The next one, ladies. Mm-hmm. I like if that. your I like side that. nigga <laughs> proposed to you before your main nigga, what you doing? Oh, shit, I might have to pull a Uno reverse. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the promotion and demotion. Ooh, Yo, I like ooh. that. You ever? I, I've, I've, women and men in the comments or the viewers. I know everybody is experienced having a main person. And somebody you like on the side, and some and somewhere along That's the line, side the roles hitting all reversed. The yeah, I know a lot of experiences where a side nigga got promoted, but they didn't break up with. They had a breakup with their main nigga, and they became the backup nigga. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and and it happens a lot with females, mm-hmm. and we don't even know it. I'm not saying it happened to me, but it does happen, and I've I, I'm experienced. I yeah. <laughs> even if even if you stop having sex, you're not having sex with both of them. That's not what I'm saying. Right. But one of them becomes you're you kind of going through a breakup. Y'all was like, y'all breaking up, but y'all still kind of talking. Yeah. And mm-hmm. somebody that you liked and you're starting really starting to date them, and they kind of like it's like a horse race. Yeah. And here comes Anderson, and it beats him, and it's like, and you're like, well, no reverse. Next thing you know. Your person that you not saying was a side nigga, but I knew those that I never had that experience. But there's been times that there's somebody that's had a crush on you in the past, mm-hmm. still kind of like talk to mm-hmm. them and whatever, and they became your boyfriend and your ex became. Yeah. See so, you later. Yeah. No, no. Yep. So the, my my advice to that is like stay in the game, player. Your time yeah. is coming. Yep. Do the right Keep thing. Shining. Technically, you're single till you're married. Do the exactly. right thing. Exactly. Stay in the game, player. Don't yep. quit. Your mama didn't raise no quitter. Hello? And that's just on par. That's on par. All right. Next oh. and last icebreaker question is, are you holding them down? Your partner gets sentenced to 27 years. Are you holding them down? When you I'm say out partner, in 27 seconds. Are you saying husband? No. Husband. Boyfriend, husband. If they get locked up. If it's my husband, yes. That's my husband. But it, I mean, who's gonna rub my cat at night? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nope. you, <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, if your husband, maybe I'll if stay I get a girl to you. do it, you know, is that okay, honey? Like, yeah. I'll send you pictures and stuff like that. Like, you maybe. know, kind of, sorta, maybe. Do you think of uh, a question when people get locked up and they're away? Do you think they're serious when they be like, go out, be free, but just know when I'm, I come home, it's me and you? No, you think they be lying or they just saying that? It's half and half. I think they say that. So to to to, to manipulate they, you yeah. that and to convince themselves not to act crazy, yeah. Because it's it's the people right next to them, they they buddies or whatever in jail, you know, their inmate colleagues or whatever, you know, they're gonna tell them like she fucking. They're gonna tell you like well, we know. y'all all can't be naive, motherfuckers in right, one right, building. Right. We know somebody who's saying, nah, I'm waiting for my man to come out of jail, and I'm like, bitch. 
He's not waiting for you. He's probably sucking and fucking in the prison. I believe that. I don't believe that. Not. I think you should. I don't still, believe they all do. I think but you should I believe still some keep of them an do. emotional connection to your, you know, spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend behind bars because it's not easy. Nope. However, I don't believe you should stop your life to do it. If you're, if yep. it's your husband, that's a little bit more technical. But if it's just a boyfriend, and and to me, it depends on what he went away for. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But in the, I honestly, it's a little tax fraud, 27, 27, 27 a little tax evasion. Yeah. 27 I'm years, sick. 27 years from me right now. Oh, that's, they said 27 years? Yeah. 27 years. Yeah, yeah 20, I'm that's out. That's a whole lifetime. I assume as the judge said, that, you're that sentenced ain't gonna work. to, I'm that sentenced to yeah. leaving because yeah. 27 years from now, I'm 57. McCann. Imagine being in the courtroom, right? And you know that the main juror person that stands up and be like, we the juror find so-and-so guilty of... I'm, you ever seen that video with Taraji? Please let me tell you. Yeah. Why. I'd have been like, before you lock my love away and just walk out of, nope. out of, be gone. Yeah, it's a dub for me. But I'm still write and I'm still call. Yeah, I feel like yeah. still visit keeping that connection is is very important because people commit suicide a lot in jail, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and people be on suicide jail a lot, especially rich people. That you know, I mean, mm. like rich to the. We don't understand. Them. The we don't understand they rich. Yeah. Those rich people, like they, and that's why they. I feel like they keep them comfortable too, because they they paying people off to right, keep right. them in jail yeah, yeah, yeah. and to yeah. get them out. But that suicide shit is real. I have a lot of uh, law enforcement different yeah. type friends, and mm. that suicide shit is real. Like it's good to. That that makes yeah, up. letting them know that yeah. they have somebody um, mm -hmm. on the outside. To see about them is important, but that's what your mama is for. Mm. Uh, <laughs> wow. So now let's talk about the single married situationship segment, and um, that's what we talk about relationship um, topics, dating topics. So first question is: Are you single, married, or in a situationship? I'm in a situationship, but I'm single. It's like single situation. How long you was in a situationship? For a year. What's taking so long to commit? Well, here's the thing: It's me. It's me. Mm. It's me. I actually just broke up with someone. It's like, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. It's me. I just broke up with someone. So I was kind of like. He was sidling in. She played that Uno why reverse. Do, why do. She's why Uno do, reversing right now. So my next question is, why do Leo's cheat? I Ooh. wasn't cheating. I was I was dating this younger fella. And, How much um, younger? He was a couple of years younger than me. You know? um, but this. My. My. Sex spirit animal is hard. <sighs> I can't get rid of him. A horina. It's hard. A horina. It's, it's a horina. hard. <laughs> it's so hard. And it's like, I thought that I could, like, oh, you know, we're. How long was your old relationship? This one was from uh, just a couple of months, like maybe six, seven months. That, okay, that's that, not really. Yeah, it's like he, it was kind of like, but you my boo, one. you my you my main, and this is what it is. Oh, so when you want to settle down? I want to settle down like now. So what's stopping you? Um, oh no, we broke up, and I'm okay. good. But the side, he's like, he's not happy mm. with his with his with his. Oh, doing. do it. Does does is your situation like, um, complain? They're like, oh, when are you gonna like make us official? What are you waiting for? I love you. <laughs> so you're the problem. It's she me. said it. Yeah, it's me. I'm I, I I'm a. I will announce that I am the the problem. I'm just scared. I don't trust people. Clap your hands if you're known to be the problem. Sometimes I've been the problem. I'm never I don't the trust problem. People, I do, but I don't. But I do, but I don't. Yeah, mm. you don't it's hard to trust. Yeah. It's hard to trust. But let's talk about: Have you ever lived with somebody in a relationship? Um, I was married before, so yeah. Oh wow! Uh, we divorced. Uh, we I've been divorced for like six, seven, seven years now. I'm sorry, so I'm gonna get dive in. <laughs> I was on. married literally most of all of my twenties. So, you know, my mother oh. told me never ask a Early female 20s. her age. How old are you? The okay. age that I am. Uh, over thirty? Yes, I'm over thirty. Okay. You give me very much twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah, yeah, you, so, you okay. Yeah, you. Bubbly. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole different topic. So <laughs> living with each other. Mm -hmm. That's our okay. that's our topic. The pros yeah, and cons. So the next, yeah. So the pros and cons. With your part, the lip of living together. What are mm -hmm. the pros and cons of moving in with a partner? As an ex-married woman, um, what are some of the things you missed living in the home with a man or a partner? Um, 
Well, when I would get off of work, I always got like foot massages, body massages. Like that was my, see, I'm a toucher. So I want like, I'm always, yeah. (laughs) I don't even care if I'm mad at you. Like he would, like if he's mad at me or I'm mad at him, like we still, this is unspoken rule. Mm -hmm. Mm. We get, we fucking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You definitely been to me over and then we could argue in the morning. Yeah. Or later. Love you by whatever. Like, you know, and that's it. But it was, I'm. I'm nasty and I deserve what I deserve, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I feel like the, the, that was the pros. Mm-hmm. What is it? The cons? cons? The pro, that's the let's pro. Do, let's go around with the pros first. Yeah. Okay. Pros. Cause I can get to the cons. Okay. <laughs> the pros for me was I didn't live with the nigga, but he damn near lived with me. Like mm-hmm. he basically lived both of them at one point. Um, not together, but. Okay. Obey <laughs> and Taurus, right? I was about to say. And, Whoa. <laughs> going to Polly. The pros were like me getting off of work and I get to lay down on the pillow. Oh, I love a good pillow talk situation. Yes. Oh, and Ooh. then ain't nothing better than telling oh. your 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 boo your tea or telling your boo your friend's tea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause um, you know, okay. Renee, she okay. done had six miscarriages. Wait, no, miscarriages. Sorry, that's a trigger. <laughs> Renee done had six abortions and then she done cheated on her man. Not saying this is I'm just using that example. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and then you know what gets me my, my dick even more hard? When they be like, dead ass. Dead ass. And yeah. so involved. They be like, so invested. So, what? They be like, so, so wait. She did that. And then they, I'm like, yes. yes. And then they be like, but why did she do? Nigga, I'm trying to tell you. This you is why me? I'm talking to you about it. And I feel like, you know, I love you. And we got to Yo, talk about this because we not like them. Yeah. Be my, you my best friend at home. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I love that. I miss that. I miss the, let's get up, go out. Right. Um. So those are definitely my pros, like my best friend at home. Because I live alone now, and it gets lonely at yeah, night sometimes. So I have Sassy, but Sassy's too much. I'll be on the phone, on FaceTime Renee, and Sassy wants to sing my chest. Like, bitch, like... Oh, you have a, um, yeah, a little, little Yorkie. Yorkie. Oh, that's right. And she be yeah. right. And she, we be on the phone. That hoe be down there on the floor having sex with her little animal. With my um <laughs> toy from that somebody gave me for my birthday. Oh, my God. And she just yeah. fucking, uh, some, fucking it. Some of the pros to me... Um, living with a guy like you said being home um, and having somebody to talk to like your bestie at home Um, some of the things I miss like just the simple shit like grocery shopping together now I do that shit by myself somebody to push the cart somebody for me to just throw things in there and somebody to carry the shopping bags. And somebody stuff. to just be like, I'm going food shopping. And yeah. you be like, okay. Okay. Like, I don't got to tell you yeah. what to get. Yo, you know he carry all the bags inside. Only thing I, only thing I got in my hand is my phone. Well, <laughs> I, I, we, I feel like we're all, we're all beautiful, sexy mm-hmm. motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like it can happen again. Of course. But it's like the trust of it all is mm. so like. Yeah, I see. Just hearing stories that I have with friends of how they're in a whole happy relationship. You're like, oh, they're so happy. I'm so happy for you. I yes. love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, and then they be like, but my side nigga, I'm like, oh, you're a reason why yeah, I don't yeah, trust that's somebody. A, yeah, 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 yeah. No. And it's I like, was, damn. We were rooting for you. Dude, we all were. But I believe there is a there is a shift that happened in this generation or the, almost the internet space that we live that, that did, they okayed it. There is... Something, the information that we, mm-hmm. we've been receiving, and we get most of our information from the internet. Mm-hmm. That saying having uh, having a backup is okay, having a side nigga is okay, mm-hmm. and where you know women are becoming. What's the SWV song? You're the one for me. Yeah. <laughs> I know that you're and somebody about, and, else. And, and, got- and, and, and um, escape. You're my little secret. It's like they grew. They grew the. Uh, they yeah. Uh, we love R and B music. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But it's like. Certain things groomed us to be whores. Look you understand what I'm saying? Kelly videos with Mr. Big. They've mm. been they've been glorifying Busted. having a side nigga for years. Yeah, been on fine the ass side low. nigga too. Yeah, nobody has to. And the side nigga is ready to fight and risk it all for you. He be ready to be like, and that's it's. You be like, listen, calm the fuck down. Yeah, okay. and a rule for your side situations. Don't go to your side situation. And I know y'all have them. We not gonna tell y'all to. St- we can't <laughs> tell y'all to stop because y'all gonna do it. Don't go to your side nigga talking about your main. <gasps> they do that. Hell yeah. yeah. You go. Uh, your- yeah. We women. <laughs> we don't want nobody to have one up on us. So don't talk about me. right. If you're gonna like, have, if you, oh, and, and it goes like, for men too. Stop talking about you already fucking this bitch. You gonna tell this bitch I don't got no edges? 
Mm. How could you? Don't tell that bitch what I do for How a living. How could you? You be like, she work? Yes. Because when she really she do? me as work. a woman, she going to talk shit. That's why you ain't got no yeah. edges, bitch. Yeah. Who told you that? Well, you know, when court was here, court told us don't have the two bitches in the same field. Same field. If you have a, if you have a RN, have a school teacher. They ain't gonna run across each other. It don't matter. Yeah. But when you, when you on your, when you on the internet with your main person posting pictures in Bora Bora on vacation, they feel something in their stomach bubbles up. Yeah, I'm the type of person. If you post the main bitch on the Instagram, no one or for I'm me watching. the main nigga, and no one I'm watching, I'm gonna do. Every single 3,000 one of your friends to match a profile. Do, 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 oh my do. God, what? I did that. <laughs> you do that, right? I did that. I did that with, with the side dude. I I mean, you were I single. blocked his girlfriend. Okay. You blocked, you blocked girl? her? You blocked just in case to cover myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before. Oh, even before you get over here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know, I don't, like, before you get over here because you got he's not going all, nowhere. All their pages. Yeah, I did. I only have Instagram, but it's like... Yeah, but I don't because uh, but I know it's tempting your side situation or some people that are single but they have oh, their I'm, favorite I'm quitting everybody I'm right. quitting everybody but well, you know sometimes you're one. single and dating but you have your favorite because mm-hmm. yeah. I know a lot of people date but they have sex with probably just one and date the rest so yeah, well. you know what I'm saying and they sometimes and they are honest about it don't I don't feel it's necessary to even if you're the person on the side and you're mm-hmm. dating stop asking so Stop asking about that person. Right. Stop being like, so what is he not doing? Why are you over here with me? Like. Right. Yes. Relax. I'm going to leave now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because so I'm wait. here for a good time. Not a long time. To get back. <laughs> Ooh, that quote right now, it just hit home. <laughs> <laughs> to get back on topic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, we only, mind you, we only said one positive thing about living with our partner. And we, I guess we agree, right? This, this, okay. We agree. So it's, I, I'll give it three. Now, the cons. Can I go first? Yes, sir. <laughs> the fucking cons is when a nigga don't know how to take out the garbage, they'll leave the garbage there till the next day. So messy. Hello. It's beyond messy. It's the... I'm a nigga. But don't leave the toilet seat up. And... Don't forget to flush. Yeah. I don't want to see... How do people do that anyway? Like fucking yeah. <laughs> yellow piss in the sink. I mean, in the sink. <laughs> Yo, and, and Yo, and they pee in the sink? When they be drunk, they pee in the yeah, sink. Yeah, and listen, sometimes... Oh, wow. I don't want to see toothpaste I dated a nigga, doing the sink. <laughs> I dated a nigga that shaved his dick in the, the wash the hand sink. He don't do it over the toilet. He shaved it right. He put his dick right. He's really... But why do it over the toilet? Do it in the shower. He was really she tall. said. <laughs> well, why not do it in the shower? Right but some in the people, sink. I was like, Ooh. some people be need. Listen, they can't. Okay, you know how some people could brush their teeth only in the shower. It's the same thing. Sometimes people just gotta. They may be more focused right there in front of the sink. Yeah, I do. You never know. I shave in the shower, but I've I have friends that shave over the toilet, and I think it's strange. Yeah, it, like, I think that's what are you weird. Doing? Yeah, that's she extremely weird. Toilet. But I see this. I see this logic behind it. She just flushes all the hair. Oh, oh okay. I get she it. Sits in. I get it. Yeah. Another pet peeve is, yeah, just this. Oh my God, please wash. I hate washing dishes. Nigga. One of them. Like, why? One of them. I'm so (laughs) submissive that I'm going to wash the dishes for you because I know you're not going to do it. Nigga, wash the fucking dishes. Why I got to tell you, can you wash the dishes? Just clean up, period, or just dishes is like a main? Just clean up, period. Like, just clean the fuck up after yourself. It is so annoying. Like, and you know, I don't mess with, I mess with like, niggas. You feel me? So they be niggering. Like, make up the fucking bed. And I fucking hate when we both gotta be at work at 7.30 in the morning, and then you wanna take your morning shit, and (laughs) I'm trying to get get out the fucking door? (laughs) Come on, stop being inconsiderate. You know you gotta take a morning shit, get up early. Or you you gotta be working at 9 o'clock, and I gotta be working at 8 o'clock, and you decide to get in the shower before me? And I don't wanna be rude, because I don't wanna upset you, because they get mad when you knock on the door like, can you hurry up? I got to get in the shower. Yeah. Oh, my God, you should have woke up earlier. No, just you take a quick a shower. shower yeah. And then they turn on the music and sound. And music? Who got time for that early me. in the morning? <laughs> oh, you... Me? I me? can't even see until I get on the train. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is me. When I Well, God has blessed me with any dude that... Well, I've only lived with two dudes, but... Um, They've always been super duper like like me as far as the cleaning part. Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't have to worry about anything. Nothing. I didn't have those complaints. It was 
other shit. But um, I want to listen to my phone. Yeah. Like, I want to listen to the previous mm-hmm. podcast. Yeah. The Wendy Williams show. Yeah. And mm-hmm. While I'm in the shower. So the updates and stuff that I didn't, I missed from the day before. Yeah. You know, that's me. So I need I need noise mm-hmm. yeah. in the shower. Um, yeah. For me, I'm a Taurus. And this is a trait that we, I think we share. I, we get up before Jesus. Yeah. I see, I value quiet time. I want to be, there's a time in the day or the morning where I do not want to talk. And I've dated somebody as, as the crack of dawn, they get up, they just want to talk, oh, talk, no. talk, 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 talk. That's and me. And he thought he, he was very upset about me. Not talk, 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 but I just don't want, it's just okay a good to morning. Be like that. And we're yeah. off to our own, I love my own space. Yeah. Like I said before in a previous podcast, I love I love alone time. I thrive. You I'm a do, loner. You, like I'm you, a, it's I'm a, a social loner. It's like a yeah. Know? So I, even if I'm in the house with you, I'm not mad at you. I'm just over here in my own little bubble, and it's like come over here, sit on the couch with me, and go to bed when I want to go to bed. You like that? I hate it. That's yeah. me too. I'm it a to go to bed together. No, I don't like it. I want to stay. Up. What you want to no. stay up? For? And I want to watch. You want to stay up so you can talk to the next man? You see? You expect me to lay down and I can't put my leg over you Hello. and go to sleep? I'll be there in a second. Uh, no. Why you think? Lord Why are you saying, doing that to me? I'm gonna feel like you on the pillow. On the pillow. This, for those a are the re- that's, that's a severe requirement. Like, it's not yeah. a, if we live bed, together, go to bed. Again, I like again. And we, um, when, when we was, you know, spending, we didn't live together, but we spent a lot of time together. There was an extra room, mm-hmm. and he would fall asleep first, and a part of me would be like. <laughs> I was ah, in the ah. other room, not because I dislike him, mm-hmm. because tonight I just want to sleep alone. And it's something again I have to kind of unlearn. And if I'm with somebody, I gotta sleep with him every night. This song is that oh. you want to sleep alone, but when you're in that bed, it's an empty space right there. I feel like you just need to be there. Well, I shouldn't have to be in bed and just but it's not being considerate bad. of your side. Because if you're not there, I'm gonna spread out. Now you see straight up. Couch. I am. Do that. Do that. No, you need to be here. Yes, you're We're, making it uneven. Yes. You're we confusing my together. body. Yeah. And then I'll be walking around. I, I have a bad habit. I'll be in the house walking around with both my headphones in. Why is she doing this to me? You do that too? You No, I don't do that. But that's like, why would you yeah, do that I'm to me? And then this, is, this, this is me in the, in the middle of the Sunday. Huh? I do, I do, I do agree on the piece of this quiet. Is this why days where I come in. I say Taurus people are addictive. You, because you just like, what are you doing to me? Yeah. Why are you doing that to no, me? No, but it's it's, it's the I devil. I feel like you coming to me. It's the devil. Like, it's yeah, it's the I devil. feel like I'm not doing it because you know I want your attention. You know, you, Taurus. Just, but when you when I tell you that offends me, y'all get y'all, y'all get butt hurt. But if I'm not offending you, why should I stop? Because I'm telling you are. Communication. I'm telling you, That's my experience with you is you're offending me. Uh, you don't have no experience with me. Me and <laughs> <laughs> That's making it personal. Yo, so yeah. what I'm saying now is... Um, See, I yeah. don't like separate time. You I do, I but like there's days when I come home and I'm extremely moody and I don't want to talk to you, but you can see it on my face. So don't talk to me. And there's nothing personal. I just need... Decompress. And at work, I talk... All day, yeah. I, I'm on the fucking microphone talking. Yeah. So there's times where I don't want to fucking talk. I repeat myself all fucking day. I don't want to talk. So now, when I come home, don't talk to me. I'll talk to you when I'm when I'm opened up. I'm okay with like getting home like separate times. Like if yeah. when my ex used to get home before me, I didn't mind. Like sometimes I'd be like, nah, you do your thing. Like I like I like I would I love to get people their space. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes I don't call my friends and be like, Yo, where the fuck you been at? You know what I'm mm-hmm. Like sometimes y'all just be needing my so I feel you on the space part. But it's time to go to bed. And I need Come my leg. Bed. I need I need that leg. All right, I'ma work on it. I'ma work on it. Yeah. That leg. Um <laughs> So what's your what's your kind of living to you said it. What's your kind of um, living together? The cons is a... Uh, you gonna be the con Edison, Mister? Because this thing keep the lights on nobody, all day. Nobody said one of the most important cons that I expected. What? Um, splitting the bills. <laughs> I didn't have that issue either. New York City, you gotta split the bill. I didn't have that. But issue. But that, that's even greater. Somebody else. What I, what I, what he lacked, I covered, and things that he, I lacked, he covered. Like we, it was, it was other stuff that broke us up. But okay. it was like the home stuff. Home was. Perfect. Severely taken care of. Okay. Almost severely taken care of. Um, he is Jamaican. He was. He's definitely a Jamaican man. But because uh, usually <laughs> he was a Taurus too. That's no. He was a, um, a Capricorn. Mm, they be Capricorn. And I. 
And, I, <laughs> and the crazy together. thing is my ex before him was a Capricorn. And that was like my Capricorn. first real boyfriend. And then I got married. And then it was like, oh, wow. Like, got to stay away from y'all. <laughs> it's, it's, it doesn't work. Well, sex. If I will fuck Mary and um, no, I keep doing that. If I will fuck buddy segment, okay, right to wrap it up, we spoke a little bit about dick sucking, and um, so I'm gonna give you some tips on how to blow, how to give a, him a blowjob that he'll never forget, mm. right? But then I want to hear y'all dick sucking tips. Well, let's tell the audience your tip. Everybody okay, needs an update. So, how to give a blowjob he'll never forget. The first one is. Don't start sucking his dick right away. Begin by stroking or rubbing his inner thighs to heighten, heighten his sensation and raise his anticipation. Mm. Use your hands to massage his dick and get him really hard. Don't just suck his dick. Lick it too like it's a delicious and tasty lollipop. Now use your mouth to suck his dick. As you Use as much spit as you can. Use your tongue and your lips but not your teeth. I'm saying it. Corey... Corey likes when people use their teeth. That's weird. It's giving shark attack. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe it's like using your teeth, like just to feel a little bit of teeth. I've heard men. You use it? Before. No, I, I mean, accidentally. It don't be yeah, I In mean, the beginning, never. this is many, many moons ago. Yeah. A big dick, I'm going to still use my teeth. <laughs> Sorry. If it, all right, play with his balls while sucking. If you can, lick. If you can, lick and suck it. Um, Focus on the head of the penis. Pay a special attention to the freak freak alum. that's the you know on top of the penis is the little the arch the little the little the, the head the little mm-hmm. slit mm-hmm. you gotta pay attention right there hope? yeah you have yes. to oh i thought it was just me severely attacking I mean, i'm uh, severely uh, attacking it i love it oh and don't God. let the pre come be in there <laughs> and i'm i like to <laughs> pick the kid bro. i like to <laughs> right i like to i like to follow the strokes of the veins Mm. And oh. and lick the strokes of the veins, so I'm like, this is my baby. Yeah. Mm. Like you know, I like to like, talk yeah, to I, yeah. I've, I've I've heard plenty of men say they like when women do it, like they're literally like, yeah, like it's the it's the one thing that can mm-hmm. save their entire life, like something. And stuff. don't forget, actually holding on to his like you are in control when okay. you're doing that. Like, mm. don't that. forget to moan <laughs> while you're sucking his dick to make him feel like you're enjoying yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. And eye contact is important. Look at him from time to time. Two things. If it's a new person, I'd be scared to moan because I don't want... Some people, like, when I get hit, mm-hmm. I, I hate when niggas do the extra... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making that noise? But some people it's like not theatrical. Necessary. Some people like to some be... Some people like theatrical. Yeah. Just do it. Don't make... Don't be... This is not, like... I am so surprised at you. As much as you... As much as you love the theatrics... I do the theatrics. Oh, you but know, like I'm when not, they do it back? No, it's like, come on, like, why you the theatrics? Because I know it's a figurization. Wow. So it's like, bro, just, just but do what, it. If it's a lot you know of what? spit. If it's somebody I'm in a relationship with. But if it's like when I get head in the I hook time, up, yeah. Okay. And he, he thinks you're doing he's too doing, much, yeah. Okay. He going in. Um, and eye contact, I can't do eye contact because I hate it. I hate, my tip. I hate That's looking my up tip. at you. Because if you look really, down at me, I'm like, And then now we dating, we start, you know, messing around. Okay, we say we boyfriend and girlfriend. But when I start falling in love, bitch, and I want to lock this nigga in, bitch. Look. <laughs> so the eyes, the look in the yes. eyes work? Oh, yeah, baby. It's like voodoo. It is. Gilmore, the eyes looking work? Ooh. This, this is it. This right here. You have to have eyes. <laughs> up here. Especially like on your knees in full servitude in all your submissive glory. Mm. And you just giving them that, all that, that face. Submissive that glory. Face. I love look at it. Look at it. Look at him. And you gotta talk to it. Hey, you baby. do the eye contact too? Yeah, I'm love eye contact. I need you to know. You know what it is, guys? It you they need need to be like, look at me. It's be like because everybody comes compliments me on my eyes. Look, you have some pretty eyes and they, they Sometimes start, they take they pick your chin up. Yeah, yeah. And tell you, you a look. good girl. You a good girl. And I'll be like, Yes, or do it with your, it's like you don't suck it with your eyes open. You suck it with your yeah, eyes open? I need you to Sometimes know. Sometimes the minds be equals. But fun fact, um, we was on horrible decisions, and the trick that I learned that still didn't try is, um, it's easier to suck dick when the guy is standing up. Mm-hmm. That's one. Okay. Yes, that that it is. is true. And I, and off of experience, mm-hmm. I know. Realize that as true. I realize it's true because not. I feel like when I'm hunched over while you sitting down, I'm a little lazy. Mm-hmm. But when you're standing up, I have better access to. 
do what I have to do. And this is a 25 and over club, so don't yeah. be, if you're on your knees, don't don't be afraid to use a pillow. You know what I know? Use I'm not going to be on my knees. You stand up, I'm if, sitting on the end of if, the bed. If, I'm, uh -uh. <laughs> if he's on I'm the old. bed, what I noticed that works for me, right? Because yeah. I feel like if you put it all the way down your throat, you you you... When you you don't have that crazy gag effect no mm -hmm. more, effect no more, and it, you, a lot of spit comes out. Mm -hmm. I feel like if your dick is curved, I like to be on a bed and position it so I could slide in on that yeah, curved yeah, angle the because bed, that I helps do me. I do a lot of on the bed, but I kneel and have my body fully yeah, elongated out. Yeah, so I do get the I do get a lot of throat space. Yeah, okay. I want to make sure I get the full shape of it so I know because you know I want my teeth to hurt you. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Saying? How long are you when giving head for? Tip, like, don't you just put um, your wrap your lips over your teeth? Yeah, yeah, I do yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. How long are you giving um, head for? Sometimes I want to, I want to suck your dick first, and I want to give you yeah. head until you're ready to have sex with me. Like until you're ready to put it in, or you're ready to eat my pussy. You be like, yeah. uh, you know, like, as stop a, doing this. You gonna make me come? Like, yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do it till you get like stop. Please. Before I used to say the young Billy when he had the esophagus of a. a not of a child, a child. <laughs> What's he, that bird called that picks up things in their mouth out of the sea? A seagull. A seagull. Oh. Yeah. Call me Seagull Billy. Whoa. I used to time Billy it. I used to do a seagull. half hour for an episode of Family Feud. And then the what? next one. Yes, I used to love it. Ain't now like you get a commercial break worth. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> How long you doing Same, this? Same, I do it until Ooh. they're like, okay, stop. Not stop or get up, but um, if I had to time it, I love, I love me a good I, I could do a good ten minutes. And don't push my head down. Yeah, don't do that. That's you know, nasty. You could do this. I want I'll be submissive like that one, he's. I'm. I'm. Hold. I like when they hold my face. Yeah, like that's the. You know, you're a good girl. You, yeah, you're so good girl. You're such and a you good girl. You compliment my face and my. That's my, my shit. Whole, right like oh, everything. Such a good girl. Like you just. It's like petting me like a petting me like yeah. a. Yeah, and then it's like last then, thing before we go. We I'm team getting pissed on Renee's team spit. Which one are you? What team are you? I never tried both, but I had a dude ask me to pee on him. And that was so many years ago. And I was always so scared of that. Now it's like, damn, yo, no one's asking. He asked you to give it and you were scared? He, yeah, I was like, I wasn't really like sexually sexual open, yet, open yeah. yet. But I was I was still, but it was, and it's crazy. It was a, my biggest crush ever in the world. Oh my God, my, whatever. Anyway, and I was still <laughs> like, I didn't do anything with him. But I sh and now I'm like, damn, nobody's asking me to be on them. Yeah, yeah. Why that's not happening right now? No more, yeah. You, you lost it's, your gold. You, I know, you literally right? actually lost your golden opportunity. What? <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's, it's a thing now. It's a thing. <laughs> I've never been asked, but I did do it on accident. I want to try the spit thing. I want to try that. Mm -hmm. You have to first. You have to like want to. It, it's it has to be like both per, both parties are into it. Don't let no nigga just oh, oh I don't know. Oh, just, it won't be just. No, it, it'll it's not like it'll that. be that one. I think yeah. it's him. That's yeah. He got me sexually doing with everything right doing now. Everything. It's, it's, well, yeah. on this on this note, <laughs> we want to say happy holidays, happy happy holidays, Christmas, Christmas happy Eve, um, Annika. All of that good stuff. Kwanzaa. Spend time with your friends. Spend time with your family. Um, I never owned a Christmas sweater until this year. Uh-uh. Um, for you. Yeah, I bought it's two. Given Bill Cosby. You know why? Because I had... My fucking boss was the throat. I had last minute meetings. Okay. And then my my clothes for the... um. That I was supposed to wear today. I had them shipped to my job. They never showed up today. So I'm like, fuck, what am I going to wear? I'm like, you know what? Christmas sweater it is. So with that being said, happy holidays. Have safe, fun holidays. Thank you for tuning in. Let everybody know where they can find you. Um, Shayna Smiles on Instagram. S-H-A-Y-N-A Smiles. S-M-I-L-E-S. We don't want to thank Shayna for coming on our Thank you for having me. You are an amazing guest. Thank you. It felt like a... Part of like a co-host almost. Yes. Not just like like we're sitting here interviewing you. You about to be the president of our fan club. Hit <laughs> <laughs> me up. A part of yes. the team. So when we need a third part, a third party to bounce ideas off, you are yes. welcome to come back, my love. Man, I'm here. I'm. I, I'll be in his DMs and really, really, really. All right. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend. Tell a friend. Also, make make sure you leave a review. When you leave reviews for the podcast, it helps us. Um, help bring attraction to our podcast. Right. So we appreciate everybody so much and we want to thank you again for supporting. Later. Bye.